Hi guys, Priscilla here. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. And I'm just doing a little meditation. Y'all, I just washed my clothes. I'm a little raggedy right now. But it's in this raggedy moment that I just had a message to come bring. So today's beavers, guys, is he prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Don't worry about what stuff look like right now, guys. That's what I'm saying. It's in this moment. It's in this moment I had to be grateful and thankful for everything that the Lord has blessed me with and will continue to bless me with. I'm going to put a picture right home. And it's that picture of Jeff Bezos sitting in his little little office back when with his little hand-painted little Amazon sign. And I'm sure people laughed at him. I'm sure. If you laughed at Jeff Bezos, you know who you are. Oh, look at Jeff with his little business Amazon. <laughs> Let people kiki caca at you. Let them haters cackle. Let them laugh. Let them hold a tummy and roll. Because you ever heard, he who laughs last, laughs best? Oh, look at you with your little whatever it is. Go ahead with your little whatever it is. Go ahead and write your little song. Go ahead and start your little business. Go ahead and, and write your little book. Go ahead and start your little YouTube channel. Aw. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. And hey, y'all. Be careful the people who you laugh at when they're going through their seasons. Because remember that chosen people got a different path. Mm-hmm. Chosen people got to go through certain things. Chosen people have a certain life. Everything not going to look all perfect in their life. So you can go ahead and cackle. You could go ahead and kiki kaka at their misfortunes. But be careful when you laugh. Or at least make sure when you laugh, it's really good. Like, really enjoy that laugh. Because, honey, it might be your last one. It might be your last one. And for I forgot what the hell I was saying. Okay. I'm going to come back. Oh, yeah, I was talking about people laughing at God's children. Child, stay encouraged. When people laugh at you, when people laugh at your little whatever it is, let them people laugh and keep going. Keep going, because remember, some of our biggest supporters are not the people we know. I know, but it's so sad. They're the main people who are supposed to encourage you and build you and lift you up and have faith in you and your little business and your little song and your little store and your little whatever it is. But usually they don't. Usually it's strangers. It's usually strangers who show you that number one fanism. So you may not have fans in your life right now. Because you are the, around the people around you and you haven't gotten out there yet. But honey, when you take off, you're going to take the hell off. You know. You know. So please continue. Please continue on your path. And don't let the little laughing of the naysayers get you down. Don't let them get to you. Don't let them stop you. Because you're going to get to a point where God will prepare a table before you right in front of them. And the way he going to do it, they're going to have to watch you eat. They're going to have to watch you eat. And because you might be nice and generous and caring and loving and loyal and all that. So guess what God going to have to do? Remove them from your life so that they're not sitting there eating with you. I said what I said. God ain't going to give you certain things, access to certain levels in your life until you remove the people from your life who are not supposed to eat with you. They're not supposed to get no chicken leg. They're not supposed to get no lobster tail, no sweet tea lemonade, no sweet potato pie, casserole, no macaroni and cheese. They not meant for your blessed season because they was <coughs> at your little whatever. I'm feeling good, y'all, in my little sheet. <laughs> I feel good. No, this really feels good. I like to wear sheets like this because I'm a little, a little Buddha. I'm a little, um, a little meditator, you know, a little. <laughs> um, but yeah, so guys, be encouraged. God will prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. So I'm going to say it again. Go ahead and do your little whatever, child. Let them laugh. Keep going. It's okay. They not your savior. They're not the people who direct if you should pass or not. They're not the people that decide if you success, if you have success or if you fail. 
They are just little people on the side of the road trying to throw stones at you and throw stuff in your way to slow you up, to slow you down, or probably just stop you, period. And they can come by many names, many, many names and many, many titles. Keep praying, keep the faith, faith, keep hoping what you believe in so you can enjoy your meal at your table. And remember, be proud, be bold, be confident. That's important. And be grateful. Visualize, conceive, plan, keep going. And don't, again, this goes back to one of my other ones where I was saying don't let all your tricks out the bag. Be underestimated. It's okay. Don't get mad and frustrated. Let them underestimate you. It's okay. Oh, I did a video about that. It was a part two. I got to post that. I'm going to post that. Be encouraged, baby. You know you wrong. They know it too. Trust me, the people that's cackling and stuff, when Jeff Bezos was sitting at them computer putting his life into that little business, people saw. Like I said, sometimes people cackle to hold that pain in because they like, damn, you following your dreams. And they not. So, so don't be fooled. Just because they cackling don't mean that they don't see your potential. Sometimes they just hoping that other people won't. Sometimes they just hoping that other people will be like them. And instead of letting you succeed, bring you down because now they have a common interest, a common goal. And some people are united only by your common, their common goal of your destruction. Ain't that sad? That the only reason why y'all even mingling and kiki kind is because y'all don't like me. <laughs> because y'all don't want me to succeed. That's sad. This goes back to praying for your enemies. I could keep going back because, guys, this thing is a puzzle. This life, you know, you find the little puzzle pieces and you fit them in. And trust me, honey, all the pieces fit. They fit. Meditate, dream, visualize, see yourself places and go. Take that leap of faith so you can, again, have that 